Hello, I'm Johnny and welcome back to my channel. So, I thought I would show you this that I've been getting from Amazon. It's a gas ma oh, it's not a gas mask. It's a, it's a mask to stop, what is it? Um, look, my mind's gone. Um, let me take my glasses off. It's a, let me see, blah, blah, blah. Wait, I'll just read this. The Force A twin cartridge half mask with Typhoon valves offer superior, low breathing resistance and a four point suspension harness and quick release buckles complete with press check PR, P3 RD filters which offer daily face fit reassurance by performing a simple check. Now I got this because I recently bought a airbrush and I don't want to be breathing in the fumes of that not that I've had time to try it but I thought it would also be handy for when I'm uh, working with soft pastels the chalky pastels because um, I sneeze quite a lot when I'm using them and just other things like I was thinking of uh, when I've been cutting like fine particles of wool up do they call that flocking? I don't know, I'm not sure. And I didn't want to breathe any of that in. And I wasn't going to pay a fortune on the mask. Um, I only paid £20 for it on Amazon. It was during a sale, but I think it's only about gone up a couple of pounds since then. So, um, this is what the packaging's like. It's got this um, thing at the top here where you cut along and then it's got one of those seals on it you know like food bags and stuff to stop the air getting in not that would bother with this i suppose but just a nice handy storage for it i got it in a size medium um maybe i should have got larger but i don't think i've got a massive head and it shows you here it says 99.95 percent that must be the particles that it resists you again so that's good rating um and i think you get i haven't opened the package but i think you get two of these in with it um and you can buy them i think they cost about a tenner but i suppose that's for daily use i won't be using it on a daily basis um so i think they'll last quite a long time um yes yeah, so that's it i'll get into it i'll have to get my scissors well, that took me a while to get into. There was a little tab at the top and I thought if you just rip it off, you don't have to use scissors, but you do. And I couldn't um, use the scissors properly. So let's get everything out. Right. I hope the instructions are easy to understand. Oh, well. I think it's like pretty much put together. I thought I was going to have to stick these on and everything, but no. Um, but what is this for? Do you put this? Oh, I should look at the instructions really, shouldn't I? Right, let me see. I'll just pause you for a second. Right, it says on this, remove this part prior to use. So that must be just kept there to protect this bit that goes over your face and maybe give it a bit of um, structure. I don't know. <clears throat> so these filters here, it says press to check. Now, I pressed it. And I don't know if it's supposed to beep or maybe you've got to have it on your face to check. But um, what I will do is shove this on my face and show you where it looks like. I mean, it's not a fashion show, is it? But And then I'll read a bit more of the instructions. Yes. And this is it. Ooh. 
Ooh, it's like vibrating in the air. So, this is the mask. Um, I can put my glasses on. I usually take them off all the time. They're not right off me, you, so. And this is what it looks like if you're fashion conscious. Hey, I'm out of breath now. That was a terrible experience. I'm so glad I don't have to wear these masks on a day-to-day -day basis. Oh, it just made all my face sweaty and I just felt like I couldn't breathe. But saying that, they do protect you. So this is the instructions. Should have got me magnifying glass. I'll just get it. Right, later. I know I'm looking a bit rough today. Well, I usually look a bit rough anyway. So this is what it says on the instructions. Oh, and I went on a website, Screwfix, I think it was. And it shows you how to do that click test. Because in the instructions it says you've got to put a piece of card next to it. And when it clicks. But I tried that and uh, God, that ba bamboozled me. But screw fix. i uh, show you how to do it. So I'll put their links down below. And. Right. So it just says. Um. What it protects you against, class 1, 2 and 3, um, organic vapour filter, low capacity, mm. inorganic vapour filter, medium, sulphur dioxide and other acid vapour, medium, ammonia and vapour filter, high capacity and oh just all this boring stuff. Um, single shift particle filter meets optional dogging requirement. Uh, let's see. Oh, clogging requirements. <laughs> well, that's that. So I will be using this for protection. I don't want to breathe any nasties in. But the experience itself, I felt quite claustrophobic. And can you imagine if you're in a tunnel or anything, a cramped place, and these, if they're click closed, you can't breathe. Yes, yeah, so that's that. Now a lot more I can tell you about that. So thank you for watching. Oh, just look and see if I've got a turkey neck, but I think it's vanished now. Anyway, thank you for watching. Johnny signing out. See you. Bye.